Hey you guys, it's Cece. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are summoning 1,166 mystical scrolls, aiming to get these ones. And for today's summon session, we are talking summoning rituals. That's right. I know you guys have your own summoning rituals. I've heard you guys say it before. You guys talk about it. We see it even on Reddit. So I'm curious, what are your summoning rituals? For some people, it is making an awesome summon area and actually decorating. That's something I did. I used to have my summon just kind of like in a random place. And as soon as I decorated around it, I was like, yeah, this will work. This will bring more energy into it. For other people, I know your summoning rituals is like where you are summoning. It's, it has nothing to do with like your island, the game, anything like that. It's like your IRL rituals that you have to do before you summon. So I, I'm, I'm curious, what do you guys have as your summoning rituals? Because I think a lot of them may overlap. They might be similar, but they may also be a little bit different. So your ritual is a blood to act and refice. Okay, so you feed a monster. <laughs> You're saying you feed a monster and then that's your ritual. That's fair. Do you feed? Do you feed before you summon a certain amount of unknown scrolls? That used to be a thing, actually. Before we did times 10 on like mystical, it was like, here's some unknowns. We're going to go with this and then we'll bam, pop into mystical and that's your ritual. You feed. Your ritual is to give it to CC. <laughs> I mean, I got you. I try. I try. Have random people summon for you. That's a good one too. Yeah. A good ritual is like, you know what? I'm actually not going to summon for myself. I'm going to have someone else do it. And that way I don't have to like think about it or worry about it. Give everyone else all the stress. That works. You summon three LD5s in one month by doing that. So you're saying your ritual works so far. Sacrifice a goat. Okay, that's... R.I.P. Goats. Feed three. Hold on. I'd feed three. Oh, if they banned tubes. Oh, oh. I thought you were about to say your ritual's feeding three Leos. I was like, how many Leos first of all are you getting that you're able to feed? But also feeding three Leos. Don't do that. Don't feed them. Something in one sixteenth. goat. Ah. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you for the 27 months. Thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, so Craig, yours is summoning in 116. Switch back and forth between scrolls and try and trick an LD5. Also try and always summon on a toilet. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't expecting the second part. So your ritual is toilet summons, which I'm going to need to ask chat everyone else. Um, do you do toilet summons? Is that your ritual? Does it work for you? It's not the first time I've heard this, I will say, but at the same time, your account has multiple LD Nat 5, so maybe it works. Maybe I'm missing out on something by not doing that. Okay, but have you've never summoned an LD 5? Have you ever summoned on the toilet? Because uh, Maxi, now might be the time to try, apparently. That's what you got Dark Demon in Lima. <laughs> okay. Summon on the roof, has that worked for you? <laughs> that's one way to look at it that's definitely one way make sure i have enough once a year so you can't just rip through in less than an hour the goal is to make us sit here and summon for as long as we need right as long as you need to sit here and summon that's the goal so you also have a tea online in yours ah stazzy i see you good choice You neither, hey? Oh, Max is asking the real question. So that's, that's, I don't know. <laughs> you only got a sunburn? Oh. Well, I know another thing that people do in terms of like ritual is actually moving the summon circle. Now, this is something I've done in the past is actually moving the summon circle around. But part of that is just because it kind of glitches. If there was a lot of monsters standing on the summon circle, you kind of move it to glitch. And this is where island art kind of comes into play because you can kind of see the design that we have on this account that we're summoning for Kimbo. And his summon circle is kind of placed inside of like other decor. So it actually prevents the monsters from like all running on top of the island and glitching it out and everything. So that's definitely one way that you can do it is like, either decorating around to prevent a lot of glitches on it or moving it. He used to do it also, move every three scrolls. I think it was, 
I want to say the moving ritual was more popular back. Okay, we keep getting like, this is... wait, is that on our list? I didn't even look at your nat forest. Is that why we keep getting this one? Are you on our nat four list? I'm so focused on the nat fives. I didn't even look at the nat fours, but yeah. So as I was saying, I think that's kind of back before we had the um, summon shrine. I think it is. Okay, <laughs> that makes me feel less crazy that I'm like, why do we keep seeing the same unit over and over? <laughs> but before we had like the summon shrine, when you'd get to 120, you actually have to go in store. I think that is more so when a lot of us used to move the summon circle. So like pre-quality of life summon session things that they did. So I think that's one way that we would do it is like moving it around. But I don't, I don't see it as popular now but yeah hey it's not for a sniper you didn't have how long you been saving your scrolls kimbo i'm curious certain channel 001 and every time i got nat 5 i went to the next channel goal is to get to channel 100 this year oh that's really cool that's a really neat idea yeah new carcano yeah so you haven't summoned in like a long time I didn't even peek at the account to kind of see like what you had or didn't have. You'd play on and off. Okay, so this is a big summon session in hopes of trying to get you some new stuff. All right, I got you. Let's go. So you've made it to channel 79 so far. That's really neat then. That like lets you know that you've gotten 79 nat fives. That's a really cool idea, Bestin. I like that. So his... Uh, Kind of way he's been summoning is started in channel 001. Every time you got a nat five, you pop up the channel. That's neat. I like that. That's super like creative. We never think of doing something like that. I do feel like rituals in terms of summoning though used to be, I don't want to necessarily say like more popular, but there was a lot more people would do in terms of like mixing your unknown scrolls into your mysticals and doing them or like switching between. As for now, yeah, I, I know some people like you mentioned, you still have some years. I know um, somebody else also said that they will like skip all their lightning. So they don't wait for the lightning. They just hit skip on it. Or they'll do X amount of mysticals and then do an LD is another one. So you don't get like, you're doing mystical, you're not getting lightning pop. Oh yeah, just as we said it, Craig. Yeah, so 40 mystical scrolls, no lightning, pop an LD. That's another one too. Do a certain amount of mystical. If you're not getting anything good, hop over to an LD and see what you can get. Another new sniper, let's go. Yeah, that's cool. You get to see how many nat fives you summon in a year that way. I like it. I like it. But that's why I, I was curious to know what rituals people had. And then maybe other people will adopt the rituals we talked about. Or if you leave it in the comments and let us know like what rituals you do, maybe other people will try it. Maybe it'll work for them. And they'll be like, oh snap, this toilet summons got me an LTF5. I don't, I don't know. That, that one's wild to me. Not gonna lie. It's... <laughs> So for me, something I used to do is I used to get my pets to summon too. Like run up to my cat and take its paw and be like, summon. Let's go. We got our first nap five, our water pudding princess, which is new. Let's go. Congrats. Congrats, congrats on the new one. Now our ritual, just talking about nap fives. And that seems to be working. We just talk about them. Talk about summoning nat fives and then it'll come that way. I'll make it, it will make it happen. <laughs> it is a really good, you need that one? Sending you some uh, putting princess luck water specifically or, or LD, sure. All right, let's see. How many scrolls in are we after this one? All right, that's about halfway. You're 
You're calling two LD5s? Well, we're gonna have to see. Yeah. Nice, new robo. Well, we do have a lot of tenure scrolls, so maybe in those ones. So be sure that you do subscribe so you don't miss out on the tenures or the LDs, because that is gonna be a separate video because we have so many mystical to get through for this one. So we'll see. I, I would love to see it out of the tenure scroll. We haven't yet. You guys have commented, you've told me on YouTube, and like I actually CC, I got an LD now five for my tenure, so waiting to see it happen. But that's why I'm asking about rituals. That's why today we're talking about them, because I want to know. What are you guys doing? How are you getting your LD nat fives? How are you getting even, uh, it's not like even regular nat fives, but like, I feel like people are more ritualistic when it comes to like LDs and trying to get an LD nat five, because that seems to be the goal. So it's also flipping between scrolls, because I've done that too when you're on an LD scroll and you just switch it back and forth between like transcendence pieces scrolls, transcendence scroll. You try to confuse the lightning, <laughs> you know? I got you, is that your ritual? Do you try to confuse the lightning as well? I've tried that. Or with big sessions, it'd be like 100 mystics and then we'll do like 10 LDs and then, and we got a Skogul. Um, <laughs> and then we'll throw in like an elemental. I, I know, we've, I know there's a lot of us that have gotten zero from 10 year scrolls, I'm aware. I, I feel it guys, I know. I know. I'm just, I'm optimistic. I have copium and hope that it'll happen. So. Uh, it only takes a scroll, right? A scroll and a trick to getting, I guess, a ritual, you know? We, no, they just, some people are luckier than others. That's all. Of course. Yeah, of course there's going to be a new unit coming out. We're in Black's man. We're getting some new Forcers, which is nice too. So this account's been playing on and off, saving for a long time though. So if we can get you usable four stars, usable five stars. I like the ritual of going with somebody else to summon the scrolls though. I'm a fan. Like I said, saves your own stress. I like to go into summons expecting the worst, but hoping for the best, because if you go into it not expecting anything, it makes the, the flow a little less, I guess. <laughs> Gargoyle and boomerang. That's true. You never expect anything good. It's summoners, right? Yeah. That's why we you make it interesting for yourself, right? You gotta like play your own mini games within summoners war. You know, like how many scrolls before I get a lightning? How many scrolls before I get a spark? How many LD scrolls before I get an LD Nat 5? How many years? <laughs> how many years of playing? That's true, we do love free scrolls. It's a nice thing with the events and then the codes they've had free scrolls. So make sure you guys are claiming those, you're claiming your codes as well. It's free stuff, it's free energy, mana usually. Scrolls. And even though this game has been around for 10 years, and I know there's a lot of us like veteran players in this game that have played it for that long, there's still people who are either returning to the game or like new players playing the game, which starting Summoner's War in 2024 is completely different than starting Summoner's War in 2014. Like it's a different game now. So starting the game now, it's, it's a different game you're starting essentially but there are people who are just now getting into summoner's war learning it um and it's awesome when you actually see it in chat people being like helpful to those players when they ask them 
and they're like, hey, like, and you, they have a little sprout next to their name and they don't really know what's what in the game. And it's nice when you're able to see like a new player that has like a joy for the game because they haven't been in it for 10 years. Like so much. And then hopefully you guys give them advice if you see them and they're genuinely asking. Because I think a lot of us made mistakes as early game players, so. Like, early game Summoner's War is a lot different than late game Summoner's War. Let's be honest. It's... You know what, uh, Stassi? I might summon today. I have like 400 scrolls, so. You do not give any advice? Okay, I mean, that's fine. There's people who, who may. Yeah, after nine years, we've seen some stuff. Yeah. It was really hard starting back then. Um, Nat 5s were a lot more rare. They... I guess I see what you're saying. You say they actually meant so much because yeah, like depending on which ones you got, right? Pulling that first one was such a like crazy deal, especially for some of us. Like it took me over a year of playing Summoner's War to get my first Nat Five. People will probably get it within like a week now, probably less than that, especially with all the events. But do do not give opposite advice. Don't do that. <laughs> You're telling a level 11 to feed this LD5? Oh no. Out of spite? Alright. Maybe maybe, maybe someone's a little spiteful. <laughs> I mean, I, ideally, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully you're giving good advice. New players, I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't uh... Don't get discouraged. <laughs> you're, you're gonna cause the chaos, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I haven't summoned yet, Stazzy. I might later. Or another day. Soon. Before this event's done. If you had a net 5, you didn't really need even the best runes. This is very true. Yeah. So people tried to convince you you couldn't do GB10 without five nat fives. Oh, I think that's kind of where guides started though. Cause even when I started Summoner's War, like I made early guides to like farmable giants B10 teams, things like that because of stuff like that. If people in chat are telling you, no, you need five, five nat fives to do giants B10. That's right, it was giants B10 back then. So like, I get it. <laughs> Okay, we have one nat five so far. Like that's super low on rates. Unless it's gonna really pop out on the um premiums. But like, yo, scrolls, you kinda owe us here. The pudding princess was awesome, but we gave you a thousand scrolls. Let's go nat fives. Years of progress doing GV9, because I believe the trolls. Oh. All new players. I I hope I hope it's not quite like that anymore. That's what I think. It's gonna save the lightning for like the LDs and the other girls. Oh nice, she's really good too. The Neo Stone. What collab are you waiting for? Oh, the one that Richard's talking about. I see. Different game. <laughs> so, is the sacrifice for you? Is what you're saying? Is that is that, is that feeding a unit? Is this uh, your ritual? You feed a unit? It's okay, we'll have one in here, yeah? I think the lightning's just waiting. The LD5s will give us some in our other scrolls. Which means LDs will be even more exciting. So keep that in mind. All right. Six mystical. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Although she was not on our list, we take the nat fives because we, we need to catch up on our rates a little bit. Congrats on the new on my OG. All right, last one. 
that is it for mystical scrolls we had a thousand mystical scrolls we only got two nat fives from it but they were both new which means the lightning is obviously waiting for some of the other scrolls that we're going to doing so be sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those ones as we're hoping of course to get an ld and let me know what are your summoning rituals i know some of the ones i listed you may actually do but leave them down in the comments and i will see you guys next time bye next level